Hey, Greek kids, it's Miss Tiffany from the Missouri City Campus, and I am so excited to be with you again today for day two of Organizing All Things. I know there's that word again, organizing. What does that even mean? Yes, it's when we take a project and we break it into small pieces and we make small plans, and at the end of creating all the small steps, then we have a completed project. Sometimes that looks like a fun art project, Sometimes it looks like a big project, like cleaning our rooms. Sometimes it even looks like packing to go on a trip. Do you remember yesterday when we talked about one of our Bible verses that helps us to understand that God actually gave us instructions on being organized? Hmm, I'll let you think on it for just a minute. If you said that yesterday we read from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 40, you are right. I am so proud of you. Can you remember what that Bible verse said? Okay, let's read it together. It says, but, oh my goodness, I'm missing a word here. Do you remember what that word is that goes there? Hmm, let's read it and see if we can figure it out. But blank things should be done decently and in order. Hmm, do you remember the missing word? Is it, but some things should be done decently and in order? Is it, but a few things should be done decently and in order? No. What's that word? All. But all things should be done decently and in order. Oh my goodness, all things? That is a lot. That means everything that we do, God has called us and given us instruction to do it decently and in order. Do you remember yesterday we talked about Noah and the big project that God gave Noah to build an ark for his family and all of the animals? Can you imagine all the distractions and maybe some of the challenges that Noah had in doing it? But he didn't give up. He did all things in decent and in order, and it gave him joy. And God used Noah in such a great way during the time of the flood. Can you think of a time when your parents have asked you to do something that seems so big, and maybe you were a little bit scared, maybe you were a little bit anxious, and maybe you were just tired, and maybe it just wasn't one of your favorite things to do. But you know what? Even in the things that are not our favorite, we can still bring honor to God by following instruction and being obedient when our parents ask us to do some things. Maybe like even clean our room. Oh my goodness. How about you take a look at the room that I'm sitting in right now? Because right now I have a big mess that I need to clean up in my room right now. Whoa, look at this mess that I have to clean up. Oh my goodness, I don't even know where to start. This is such a huge project and I don't have a lot of time to do it. I need to get organized and I need to think of a plan quick so that I can take care of this. Hmm, where should I start first? You know, sometimes when we have a big project like this, one of my favorite things to do first is to sort like things together. When you're looking at your bedroom, we can put things into small groups. We can look at our room and put all of our shoes in one pile. We could think of it something like a scavenger hunt. Hmm, in your room right now, think of all your shoes and put them together in one pile. Next, let's think of all of our laundry, all of our clothes that we have all over the room that we need to put in one pile. And then there are toys. Let's look around the room and gather all of our toys and put them in one pile. And then maybe you are a reader and you have all of your books everywhere just like me. And you can put all of your books in one pile together. And then one of my favorite things to do, I know it's your favorite thing to make your bed. Every good day starts with a bed that is made well. Okay. Now, if your bed is made and you have all of your like things together in their piles, now it's time to put all of our things 
in a place where they go. One way of keeping our room organized is to make sure that everything in our room has a place so that when we are cleaning up, all we have to do is find something and put it in the right place. Just like my book needs to go on the bookshelf. Are you ready to help me to get this room together just like that? Okay, I'm ready. Let's go. Okay, remember how we talked about putting like things together? Okay, in my big messy room with my books everywhere, you may be thinking, well, Miss Tiffany, how do you put like things together when they are all the same thing? Books, right? Mm-hmm. So now I'm sorting them by size. Small books, medium books, and my large books. So that way I can be ready to put them on the shelf very quickly. All right, let's do it. Look, and just like that, the room is all clean. And I am so excited because when I came in this morning, my room was a mess and I was worried and I was burdened with all of my mess. And when I thought that it was too difficult for me to take care of and clean my room, I made a plan. I sorted like things together and look how easy everything came together. That's my favorite part about the truth of God's word. God said, but all things should be done decent and in order. And guess what? We did all things. We took care of all of the mess in this room today with a simple plan. And you know what? Not only do we have joy from what we have done, but when we are obedient and we follow instruction and we follow the great examples that God has given us, God is pleased with us. I can't wait to see what you do in your room. I can't wait for you to join me tomorrow for our day three of organizing all things. Tomorrow we will have so much fun planning for a great art project. Doesn't that sound like fun? I know. I can't wait to see you again tomorrow. Bye, Creek Kids.